hey everyone welcome back to the channel so in this video we are going to cover cookie parameters and header parameters we are actually following this official documentation tutorial of fast api and uh, in our last video we have covered topic uh, extra data types in this video we are going to see how we can set and get cookie parameters and how we can uh, pass headers with the request so let's get started so here uh, they are saying that you can define cookie parameters the same way you define query and path parameters so same thing you have to import cookie and that you can just use that cookie okay here just, just like uh, you are using path and query so i'll just uh, try to copy and paste this code here and uh, here in our code i'll just paste that so if you don't know how you can run a fast api server then you can just watch my first video of this uh, tutorial series that i mentioned how you can start uh, your server and how you can uh, uh, then you can just go in this uh, localhost 8000 slash docs to see your documentation okay of your apis and here as you can see we have one endpoint items so i'll just quickly go here i'll just click on try it out and i'll just say abc i'll just pass cookie as abc and uh, now i'll just click on this execute so here as you can see that uh, if you want to get the cookie then you can just uh, get you can just uh, trigger this command in your call and you can just say get uh, you can just get this ads id okay and you can have your value in the uh, ads id so here we are not getting any thing so by default it is not setting anything because in this we have actually set uh set at this value as a none so i'll just say abc let's say abc now just refresh my page and uh, i'll just click on try it out and here uh, i'll say abc again let's say execute and here as you can see now it is returning us the default value okay of this uh, variable we are returning this ads id right and default value is abc so it is returning abc so i'll just right click on this page now we'll just inspect okay and uh, this is my previous uh, cookie which i've set so i'll just click uh, clear this so here i'll clear this and now uh, to set the cookie in this what we can do i'll just try to grab some code from my uh, previous code which i've written i'll just paste that here and here i will just uh, import uh, request and re response from fast api so request and response okay i'll just import and here what we are doing we are we are creating two endpoints first endpoint what is it is doing uh, it is actually setting a uh, cookie with this re response dot set cookie method so we are actually passing response okay here and then we are setting key as my cookie so let's say i'll just give another name let's say uh let's say our cookie right not my cookie it is our cookie so i'll just say our cookie and uh, here in get cookie method uh, as well i'll just uh, paste that and uh, we are setting one two three now I'll, we'll set uh let's say pop one two okay and uh, yeah at the end in set cookie method we are just returning true if our cookie has been set then we are just returning true okay and in uh, this uh, i'll say get cookie method okay this get cookie method what we are doing uh, we are passing request and request dot cookies dot get we are getting the cookie which have we have set earlier so our cookie is the name and at then we are returning that cookie so i'll quickly go in my uh, documentation page and here as you can see that now uh, in this terminal okay we are not having any cookie so i'll just set cookie i'll just trigger this endpoint let's zoom it a little bit out okay and here uh, i'll just click on try it out and i'll just execute so as you can see after clicking on execute as you can see our our cookie has been set with the value pop12 so this is looking great and now i just uh, uh, collapse this uh, endpoint and i'll just uh, click on this endpoint and i'll just click on try it out and and i'll just click on execute so after executing this api 
as you can see that in, in response we are getting this uh, cookie value okay so that's what we did in this code uh, how we can uh, like with this we can just grab the cookie and we can just return that in our response so that's all about this cookie i hope you understood now we are just quickly uh, understood this headers topic how we can pass uh, values with the headers okay so with with the cookie uh, as we are passing in cookie same we can just do in headers as well so i'll just quickly grab this code and i'll just paste that so as you can see that now we are just uh, creating user agent as a, a request parameter and uh, we are setting header value to this okay and we are just returning agent user agent so i'll just quickly refresh my page and uh, here i'll just collapse this and uh, here i will say execute so i'll just click on try it out and i'll just execute so as you can see that we are getting a default uh, value of user agent and uh, default value of header okay uh, so that's the call command you can just trigger to get this uh, this uh, value so this is the default value let's say if you want to set the header and you want to get the header so i'll just uh, again i'll just grab some code okay and i'll just paste that and uh, again we will will require request module okay request request module capital r okay capital request okay so now we have this endpoint and uh, in this endpoint what we are doing let's say get set header okay get set header will give the name and uh, yes as you can see that we are actually uh, passing request and also we are setting a header a variable called user agent and uh, we are just uh, setting it as a string and uh, a default we are passing it as a abc and it is a optional so we are saying none okay so we are actually making this header value as a abc by default and uh, in the second line what we are doing uh, with the request dot headers method we can just get the user agent uh, value of this header okay so value of this uh, user agent header and then in response let's uh, we are just returning our header and uh, we can also return this full header so let's let's quickly go back into our documentation i'll just refresh and uh, now you'll see what we are doing so i'll just quickly click on try it out and here in this uh, default value by default it is taking as abc so now let's give some different value so let's say my header well something like this 111 okay and uh, now i'll just execute and as you can see that in response we are getting my header which is a uh, my header well in 111 and also we are getting full header so that's what we did here we also we are uh, re uh, responding with request dot headers so it is response in response it is giving with it with uh, like full response of our header so in this if you will notice then if you you also have this uh, user agent uh, header okay which we uh, already passed in this request so yeah that's that's all about this header topic as well i hope you understood this uh, cookie and header uh, parameters topic of fast api if you did then please do subscribe my channel i'll see you in the next video then keep sharing keep loving bye bye